In this lesson, other types of tessellations, we'll explore how tessellations can be made from more than one shape. Also, we'll go outside the world of mathematics and investigate tessellations in art and nature. Tessellations are not limited to using only a single shape. We'll demonstrate this by using our octagon. Now an octagon is a regular polygon with eight sides and eight interior angles. The interior angles measure 135 degrees. So if we try to tessellate an octagon by itself without creating any gaps or overlaps, we will have trouble because three octagons put together result in our overlap. However, if we arrange octagons in the following way, we will have a gap, but that gap can be filled in with another very simple shape, the square. We can carry on with our tessellation using as many octagons as we would like and filling in the gaps with squares. You do not have to be limited to geometric shapes to create a tessellation. Many artists have used tessellations to create some beautiful masterpieces. M. C. Escher is one you'll want to investigate. He has made his whole career out of drawing specific types of tessellations. Here is an example of M. C. Escher's work. Here he uses just a single shape to come up with a tessellation. Another artist uses two shapes to come up with this tessellation. Finally, another artist uses portraits to come up with the tessellation. You can also see many examples of tessellations as they exist in nature. A common one is the honeycomb created by bees. They link together perfectly formed hexagonal tubes into a beautiful type of tessellation. Here is a skin on a snake, forming an incredible type of tessellation. Look no further than your local beach to observe various animals displaying all sorts of different types of tessellations as they sleep. Tessellations truly exist everywhere. Go online and see what tessellations you can discover. It is a beautiful place where mathematics, art, and nature collide in extraordinary ways.